Good morning, everyone. It's Carly from cookingwithcarly.com. We are back with another crumble taste test today. Before we get going, there are a few things that I need to tell you. First of all, the buttermilk pancake cookie from last week. The recipe is on my site right now. And recipes go onto my site frequently and not all of them get dedicated videos here on YouTube. So check back on my website, it's cookingwithcarly.com frequently just to see which recipes have been posted or you can follow me on Instagram at cookingwithcarly. I talk about them over there. Um, and hopefully I'm hoping to start back up with the dedicated videos for the, like the copycat recipes soon. My cameraman, <clears throat> my husband, he's in busy season at work right now. And so we don't have as much time as usual to make those videos because he is the cameraman and then he also edits the videos for me. So that will hopefully start up again soon. Maybe uh, like in the new year, we can start those up again. Okay, let's talk about these cookies. And again, don't forget to comment below. Let me know which cookie you'd like the recipe for. I am super excited to try like literally every one of these cookies today. So we'll see if it lives up to my hopes and dreams. Also, I've got children. One's eating breakfast. Another one is just watching me. <laughs> so hopefully this goes okay. First, we have the eggnog cookie. So this is warm. It is a warm eggnog sugar cookie with a spiced eggnog icing. And that is some nutmeg on top. It is very soft. Like I feel like it's gonna break in half. Next, we have the York peppermint patty cookie. This popped off but I will hold it there. <laughs> uh, it is a dark chocolate cookie. We've got semi-sweet chocolate on top, little uh, York peppermint patty, and it's supposed to be filled with like a creamy white peppermint filling. So I'm excited. I love chocolate and mint, chocolate and peppermint. It just tastes like Christmas to me. Next up, we have a little cream cheese frosting on this. Here, I'll wipe it off. Next up, this is mom's recipe. This is one that has been requested quite a few times and I just haven't tried it yet. So I, I can't recreate ones that I haven't really tried. So I'm excited to give this a try. This is an oatmeal cookie with semi-sweet chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, toffee bits, and sea salt on top, which I love all of those things. So I feel like that's going to be a home run. And then next we have the gingerbread cake cookie. I think it's gingerbread cake. Um, it's supposed to be a soft gingerbread cookie, cream cheese frosting, and then these little gingerbread guys on top. So let's go for the taste. Let's do mom's recipe first. That's the one. And this is nice and warm. All of these are warm except for that uh, York peppermint patty one, and that one's chilled. Nice and thick. I love the melted chocolate. And the peanut butter chips. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to make sure I get a bite with the sea salt. Really? She's really enjoying her Cheerios. Because I love sea salt. And you can see I've got a huge piece of toffee right there. That almost looks like, like a Heath bar. Okay, here we go. Mmm. You get a little spice in there too, like cinnamon. Okay. That's good. That is a really good cookie. I love the crisp on the outside. It's nice and like gooey in the middle, but it's still like totally cooked. The combination of the peanut butter with the chocolate and the toffee is surprising to me. Um, cause I don't think I'd put toffee together with like peanut butter, but it's actually a really good combination. The salt on top, I have chocolate on myself. The salt on top gives it a nice, it like balances it all out because everything inside of the cookie is really sweet, but that salt gives it a nice balance and the cinnamon is surprising, but I like it like a cinnamon like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie with an extra kick and it's not too peanut buttery 
So if you like a little peanut butter, but not like overly peanut butter, you should try this one. Wow. We're setting the bar high today. Right off, right out of the gate. Okay, eggnog. I've heard amazing things about this one. There's not a ton of icing on here, but sometimes I think that's a good thing because icing can kind of be overpowering. Sometimes, especially if it is a very strong like flavored icing, like the maple cinnamon roll one, there was just like a glaze on that, but there was enough maple there. So we'll see if this is the same. It looks like there's nutmeg in the actual cookie also that I can see. Okay. Oh, definitely not big. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Christmas. Tastes like eggnog. Um, I feel like eggnog is super thick and just like envelops your mouth kind of when you take a drink of it. And I don't get that with the icing here. It's not a super thick um, and like takes over your whole palate. I think which that's something kind of that I connect with eggnog. So just, you know, very thick and creamy. And so I almost wish the icing was a little bit more creamy where you'd get that, uh, that texture in your mouth. Um, the taste is great. It tastes very similar to eggnog. I want to taste just the cookie part. Tastes just like the sugar cookie with a hint of eggnog, but I think that's just the nutmeg in there. Um, train is passing, can you hear it? Um, wow, that train. Overall, a really good cookie. I think it's a fun one for Christmas time, probably like a once a year type cookie for me. Uh, but overall, it's really good, especially if you like nutmeg, if you like eggnog, you'll like that one. Uh, the cookie itself is it's got that buttery crispy on the edges, which I really, really like, and a nice and soft in the middle. All right, the York Peppermint Patty. This is the one that's chilled. Oh, I can't break it. Hold on, I'm taking it off. Okay, it's the chocolate on the top that gets hard that made it hard to break. Okay, so there is the peppermint filling inside, just like a York peppermint patty. What do you want? What do you want over there? Do you want to try a little cookie? There you go. Ooh, is that good? She likes that. Mm -hmm. So it's that uh, cold melted chocolate on top that makes it really hard to break, which is very like reminiscent of the York peppermint patty because there is like that harder um, semi-sweet chocolate on there. Maybe a ganache would be good. A chilled like, so it's like a thick layer of fudge. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, that tastes just like a peppermint patty. What is that in the middle? Mm-hmm. You want, she wants a bite. She's handing me a knife after I'm done, okay? Oh, for me to cut, oh, thank you. Okay, it is very, very white. It has the texture of like white sugar, like granulated sugar. So I'm thinking it's probably sugar and, um, the peppermint extract, but I just am wondering what is holding together the sugar? Because it like has the texture and um, flavor of the York peppermint patty. So maybe powdered sugar in there and some butter, but it is so white. And usually when you use butter, it'll make things a little bit more yellow but this is really good. I want to figure out the inside of that cookie. That one's probably my favorite. Is it my favorite over mom's? I don't know. It's probably tied. I like it better than the eggnog, 
but that one is really good, really surprised me, and I like it chilled. Chilled uh, peppermint is the way to go. All right, last but not least, the gingerbread cookie. Here you go, we got the swirl on top. Do you need more cookie? Just kidding. There you go, there's some more. Okay, take a bite of this. Cream cheese is very strong cream cheese. Like the frosting that was on the pumpkin cookies. Mm. Very, 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 very spicy. I like, what is that? Clove? I think there's clove in that. That is overpowering. Clove and ginger, a lot of molasses. I don't love super spiced cookies. The edge is nice and crispy like a ginger snap. I feel like this is even more spicy than a ginger snap like the store-bought ones, you know? If you like ginger snaps, you'll probably enjoy this one. It's not my cup of tea, but I really like the frosting. Um, but that's more of just like a personal taste preference. I think it's a solid cookie. It is very spicy. I think I would personally like it a little bit more if they held back on the spices, but solid week, I would say. If you're a fan of gingerbread, get that cookie. Like, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong. They also had um, like their animal cracker, I'm not animal cracker, circus animal cookie one uh, that's Christmas this week. So it's just the sugar cookie with the sprinkles in it, melted white chocolate with a Christmas circus animal on top, like a reindeer or something. Um, I didn't get that one though, just got the four. Overall, solid week, enjoyed all of them. Get yourself some crumble this week. Let me know which recipe you want. I think I've got to crack this code. Somebody on Instagram yesterday was like, I love how you taste the cookies and you're like, I've got to crack this code. Because that is, hey go. That is 100% how my brain works. I just, I just have to figure this out. This, I've got to figure this out. But let me know if you want any of the others too, because I'm willing to make any and all. Let me know and I will see you guys later uh, next week for the next taste test and probably sometime later this week also with some crumble updates. Something. I don't know. I'll pop it. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye.